Assalamu alaikum. In today's tutorial, we will show how to calculate density of states that is DOS and PDOS with Win2K. We will also show how to generate the plots of DOS and PDOS in PNG and EPS format. I already have two videos in plotting and the calculating DOS and PDOS, but I still find that uh, the topic or the generating the uh, plots is little bit difficult especially for the beginners so i decided to make two more videos on these things this one and the next one so let's start the system that i'm going to use is titanium carbide and uh, if i go to the uh, st structure i do not have anything actually so but i already have uh, previously calculated uh, scf results so I'm going to use uh, one of the previously calculated results. So in this folder, I have uh, the results of SCF calculation using PV potential. So I'm going to use that one. So I'll copy all the files from here to this current working directory. That is this one, titanium carbide, as you can see from here also, this is the result. Now if you have a click here, see I have the structure file and I, I can also see the structure. Now let's go to the DOS plot. I will click here task and here DOS. So here is saying that uh, to edit and uh, use a larger Emacs values. So I'll click here. So the default is 1.5. Let me use here 3.0. I'll save it. And also a denser KMH is required for DOS and PDOS calculation. I will use, let's say, 2000. Okay, so I need to run LAPW. Now I will run this one. Okay, now here I need to generate the configure file. So you can see the details is given here, but I'm not worried about this these details because uh, I will only need this one for uh, to set the range and then I will show you how to make all these plots so I'll click execute now here these are the range this one and this one maximum now if you need to change the range of uh, x-axis you can change this but uh, since this is the tutorial purpose I will keep the default values Okay, now for plotting and the calculating the density of states, I will use a script that is this script. If you go to script section, you can go for, uh, see, you will see there to calculate the DOS and PDOS script. So let's use this that script. So I already have the script in this Win2K folder. So to run the script, I'll use this command. This is the name of the script, DOS calculate plot sh. If you need to review how to uh, use external script, you can watch uh, this video using external script and you will find all the details about using external script there. So let's run it. Now you see here it shows, there's, these are the two atoms we have and uh, we, we can select the atoms from here so if you select a titanium you will use one if you select a carbon you will use two but you can also use zero to calculate uh, the total dose and the partial dose that is the total contribution from uh, each of the atom so let's do that one first zero with zero so i'll click here zero now you see it has calculated all the and the generated the plots so these are the two plots is generated here you can see this is the dos that is the total is written and the contribution of ti titanium is this the green color and the, uh, the, the contribution of carbon atom is also leveled here this is, this is the actually the uh, uh, dos that is this the first one is generated also separately it shows that the, the files are saved in this folder so if i go here so 
So you can see all the files are there. The script that is used uh, for plotting the PNG file and the EPS file is this one. So if you need to uh, generate the plots again, you can use this one only. And if you, you want, you can also modify this modify that one. Let me show you one of the EPS file. So. So this is the plot, total uh, DOS plot for this system that is we have just calculated. Now let us use the others, other options. So if I use now one, it will ask me to input the values what I want. So uh, the examples, some examples are given. But for this I suggest that you check these details here. So if you click on any of this one. So let's click this one. I will not run this one. You will see for the atom, the all the details are given. So the total will be uh, taken automatically, but you can choose from these uh, orbitals. Now there is one limitation is that you can use maximum five orbitals because uh, the script cannot handle more than five. So uh, let me choose P, D, D, E, G. D T two G. So I think these are good enough. So I'll click yes, and it uh, asks me for the confirmation. So total is taken automatically, and then I inserted P D D E G and D T two G. Make sure that you type them correctly. As I told you, you can get the details here. So let's say yes. Now you can see the plot. So this is the plot for the titanium, the level also given here. This is the total contribution of the titanium. This is the p orbital contribution that is you can see at the bottom here. This is the d orbital contribution. This is d e g, this is t, d t 2 g, all these contributions are given. And uh, uh, plot that's just comparing uh, with the total for the titanium is also generated. Now let's do for the other atom, the carbon. So by this uh, doing this way, you can uh, calculate for all for all of the atoms. So as we know, for this one, we only have S and P orbital because this is carbon. So we'll just select these two. Okay, this is what for the carbon atom S and P, and uh, this is the uh, comparison of the total contribution of carbon atom with the total dose. Now, if you go here in the result uh, dos, dot dos folder, as it shows that all the plots are saved in this folder. So you can see all these files. These are the all EPS files, PNG files, and also the script that is for the titanium use, the new plot script, which generated these plots, is also here. And uh, for the carbon, this is the script. So you can modify them as you like and generate the plots uh, as you require. Now there is one limitation with this script that it cannot handle the spin polarization calculation at this moment, but uh, I will show you, I will update it in future, maybe in next week and I will show you how to use that one for a spin polarization calculation. I hope this will be helpful. Thank you.